Hi everyone, so today I want to share with you guys my experience going through a YTP Mara interview because I'm currently YTP Mara scholar and I'm pursuing right now degree in chemical engineering. So I hope this video is very useful for you guys to prepare yourself for upcoming interview after SPM results. Oh, during my time after SPM 2021, Alhamdulillah I've got straight East in SPM and then I've went through YTP Mara interview. Uh, basically these are the tips from me and based on my experience. So firstly, YTP Mara interview consists of two interview, which is the first one is individual and then the second one is the group one. So basically individual is like will be us common questions regarding yourself because the interviewer want to know yourself so you need to know like how to present yourself what are your weaknesses what are your strengths how you deal with certain problems because the interviewer have like list of questions that they want to ask you all right so you just prepare what are the common questions usually the interviewer will be asked so during my time for the individual interview, you will be placed in a room and then you need to sit like in a row with eight people in one group. Uh, so the interviewer will be asked uh, like randomly questions one by one. Just be prepared if your number will be called because the interviewer will be called your number. Inside the room, you will be given like a number that represents yourself. All right. After the individual interview, you will be given like one case for you to discuss with your teammates. So here, the important thing is try to greet with other people, let's say as a group, to discuss what you guys can present after that. All right. So here, after SPM, I've got like tips for the interview. So. Firstly, the tips is try to manage your time wisely. Try to be like the person who remind all your teammates that let's say you have like two minutes left and so on. Because this show that you can be like time keeper because this show that you are capable for that scholarship. Because you are like you can lead your team based on the time given lah. Alright, so if you cannot be a leader, try to be a good team player because try to help your friends, each other, if they don't know what to speak and try your best to help and then elaborate supporting ideas that you want to present. Alright, so during my time, I've got a chicken crisis because that time is a popular one. So maybe now you can try to search online, try to read newspaper and then know what's going on around you because this is very crucial to test you your thoughts and opinions towards the problem if you don't know what exactly the problem cases that you, you've you got so how you, can you like elaborate but if your friends doesn't know try to help them and show your efforts to present and help other people too okay so during the group interview you need to take turn one by one so basically here try to organize your thoughts and ideas like straight to the points and then take turn because you need to finish within the time limit and make sure all your teammates have the opportunity to speak all right so here Try to be yourself and don't compare yourself with other people. And then during my time, the viewer said that you can present either in Malay or English. But if you choose to present in Malay, make sure all your sentences in Malay language. If you choose to present in English, make sure you didn't insert any Malay words in your presentation. Alright, so my suggestion is now you have time to practice a bit English because you can show yourself that you can speak at least you can speak and then you have the effort to speak in English because this is for overseas study 
so you can show yourself that you are capable to speak in English all right so if you cannot speak in English it's okay it's totally okay you can speak in Malay but you need to organize your thoughts and ideas like impress all the interviewer that you are capable for that scholarship to secure that scholarship all right so if you have any question regarding the interview or any other thing you can comment down below i'll try my best to answer all your questions see you guys in my next video bye